and good day my fellow resellers my name is Julia Gomez or at team thrifts on Instagram and today I have another YouTube video for you guys I'm so sorry my hair is wet I just couldn't wait to do this video um, today I'm gonna be giving you guys a haul on some of my consignment inventory that came in and it's gonna be a completely blind reaction I don't know what what I got if you guys don't know let me give you guys a little bit of a background on me. I'm a teen reseller, so I resell used clothing on the internet, on eBay, Poshmark, Trezy, Mercari, all of that stuff. And something I've been doing for the past year is accepting consignment items. That means that people will give me their clothing and I will pay them once the item sells. So I have a sliding scale. If you guys would like a more of an in-depth review on like my consignment process and how I turn my business into more of a consignment type thing, feel free to let me know. Let me know your questions and all of that jazz. But for now, I'm going to be opening up a box that one of my consigners um, dropped off, and let's see how much the items are worth. So a little background. I usually like to ask my consigners what items they'd like to consign. Woo! I'm out of breath from grabbing that box. But I usually like asking my clients what items they're going to consign what, before they drop them off so that I can say yes or no. But this was actually something that happened to me that was very unexpected and kind of like a dream come true. A local reseller decided to quit and didn't want to resell anymore. So she decided to consign all of her inventory with me. The majority of her inventory was unlisted, so... Um, there are some items that she had made bad buys on, like in the beginning of her reselling journey, but mostly they're all amazing, so can't wait to show you guys. Okay, this is going to be super exciting for me because I'm going to be seeing the items for the first time, and I'm going to try to give you guys an assumption of how much they're worth online if I know, but I'm also going to keep a tally up somewhere so that we're able to see how much all of these items are worth. Okay. This one is a really cute dress from Staring at Stars, which is an anthropology brand. And I'm not sure because Staring at Stars is a brand that I do not have that much luck with, but I don't think I've sold a dress from them, so I'm going to say $15, $20. Let's see if I was right. Um, this is Gap, but it seems like it's plus size, so that might be a good sale. And this is a really cute dress. Next up is hmm, another dress, Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, it's a wrap dress. Very cute. I don't know how it would look on, but I'm assuming you guys can kind of guess. Next up is a pair of jeans. I love selling jeans. Oh, these are J. Crew. J. Crew high rise skinny. If you guys are interested in any items, feel free to leave a comment below and I can give you guys a super cool deal just without going through any eBay or Poshmark fees. I'd rather just give those um, give those extra savings to you guys. This is a faux suede Lulu skirt. Okay, this seems interesting. This seems kind of high quality. Ooh! Ah! This is really good! Okay, this is a theory, like... The Lore um, Blazer. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I feel like this could sell for a good amount of price. Uh, this is a sports bra or like kind of like a tank top type thing. It's floral. Brandy Melville. Very cute. I feel like Brandy is super trendy. That's a very popular brand. Uh, it doesn't sell for a high amount, but it's always... Always sell super quickly. Sorry for my nails, they're so gross. Um, also, can you guys tell that as I look at items, I'm like, Frank Velvo, tank top, floral, like listing out keywords. That's how I think nowadays. Okay, so this is a Star Wars tee. I think it was like handmade, like, per, like um, this cut here, but I feel like there's a niche for everything, you know? Let's see. This is just an H&M dress. 
basic, but like I've had success with selling H and M like cheap, you know. Like I I won't I don't ask for a large amount, but like it sells fast. So Banana Republic, is that like a wool skirt? Uh, plus size always sells better. So this is 16, size 16. Hopefully that will do well. This is a splendid cardigan. This is white, so that's fine. I was scared that like there might be a stain or anything, but no, I'm just gonna have to like iron this. We'll steam this. Um, but yeah, splendid. Splendid used to be such a bread and butter brand for me, but nowadays like I don't pick it up. I'll sell it when you know the consigner gives it to me, but I will not pick it up at the thrift store. This is Con On, which is just like a mall brand, but even mall brand like jackets and stuff, I feel like they sell for a good price because people are accustomed to saving with mall brands and that's what they end up looking for. And then the last item, let's see. Oh, actually two. Sorry, I just spoiled the last one basically. Ooh, wait, this is kind of cute. This is like a Ralph Lauren collection. I'm going to have to look up because each Ralph Lauren label is like different and have different qualities and stuff. So I'm going to have to look up what the purple label is. I'm not sure. But this is like a really cute skirt. I don't know if you guys can see. It's kind of shimmery. It's like buttoned down. I'm excited about this one. And then this, last but not least, is a Jack cargo jacket. I've never heard of this brand. Let me know if you guys have ever heard or sold of this brand. But is Jack. I've never sold it or seen it, but cute jacket. So yeah, that's um my consigner haul. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want more of these like blind reaction consigner hauls or if you guys prefer just thrift hauls or if you guys don't want to see me hauls at all. Let me know what you guys want. I've been having a really hard time just thinking of ideas for YouTube, so if you guys have any, feel free to let me know. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would love a like and a subscribe. It'd mean the world to me. It just lets me know that I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> I'm, you know. So, thank you very much. Goodbye. Okay, alright. I said bye, but I was joking. I didn't know I was going to do this, but I just decided to break down all of my numbers for this current haul. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm a very numbers person. So, at the end of the haul, it showed that I will make an average of $336 on this haul. That is looking at my bottom line of how much these items will probably sell for. They, it was just a preface of research. I usually find the style codes and all of that for each item, which usually brings up my price, but kind of just like the basic um, solds for those items, $336. If I take out fees, which is an average of 15% on all my marketplaces, it'll come out to $285 after fees. After I pay my consigner 33%, which is her consignment payout for all of these items, uh, I will have $219. Now, this is the interesting part. I still have to exactly make sure how much time I spend doing all of these tasks, but I took an assumption. So assuming that I spend two and a half minutes per item to photograph and put them away, um, that takes 35 minutes to photograph. Assuming that it takes three minutes for me to list each item, that'd be 42 minutes for the whole haul, and assuming it takes me two minutes to ship out each item, that would be 28 minutes for the whole haul. I would come out to, this haul made me $125 an hour. Now, I have no idea if these assumptions are correct. I'm gonna make another video, guys, showing how long it takes me to do all of these tasks. But I'm assuming this is about an average for me. So that's what I'm hoping is correct. Now, this haul also, not a good haul. It's not bad, but it's not amazing. I usually have much better items. These are very average, but at the end of the day, as resellers, we have to realize and understand that not every day we're gonna be able to find the best items and have the best items to list. But these are a couple of bread and butter that I can throw in there, throw into my store. $125 an hour, I'm okay with that. I don't know if you guys are. 
And if I put in, you know, some of my higher gross items, that means I'm making more than $125 an hour, which is amazing. So with that being said, this was my favorite video I've ever filmed, honestly, because this was so much fun for me to break down all the numbers. Let me know if you guys like that type of stuff, me breaking down the numbers, and I think I'm going to um, shoot another video where I figure out exactly how long it takes me to do each thing. So, yes, I hope that made sense. I was just super excited to share these numbers with you guys. So, now it's a for real goodbye. 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 Goodbye.